Good morning, folks. Yarek here. Welcome to Amberscape. And yep, today is the view for today. And I can't help myself. The beaches are full of rocks and I have to check them out, even though this is vacation and I was not supposed to hunt. So yeah, let's get my shoes on and let's explore. First find of the day is not big, but quite exciting for me personally. This is an bryozoan called Diplotripa. It is from the Ordovician period, and I don't have this specimen in my collection yet. Even though I found it on the seashore, it's quite in good shape and mostly complete specimen. Right beside it were lying tiny chunk of Favocita stabulate coral. These are extinct in modern day. On the seashores, most common finds are fossilized corals. They are more sturdy and less likely to stay intact after bouncing off other rocks for years. As I mentioned in the beginning, this was part of my short vacations in Latvia capital and then two days in the apartment in the sea. And I wasn't planning on hunting fossils of amber at all, but when such rock stacked beach appeared before my eyes, I couldn't help myself. Unexpectedly on the shore was lying quite a bit of sea debris, and usually it means that there could be amber. Of course I was checking this sea debris, but not even small piece of amber was there. No freebies today. Amber mission. This was one more Favositas coral, beautifully polished by the sea. These species were the most abundant in that location. And then, unexpectedly, there was one more coral hiding under the rock. It's called the sun coral, a little bit more uncommon species. Scientific name is Sarcinula, from the same time period as Favositas. Sea is the perfect place to look for coral fossils. All the details of the coral is a lot better visible when it's wet and distinguishing fossils from regular law is a lot easier that way. This one is one of the biggest chunks of the day. And by the way, even though I have many coral fossils like this one, I'm stacking them up in the pile at home. In the future, when I will have proper equipment, I will transform these corals into perfect shiny shapes by cutting and, and polishing them up. People are using corals for jewelry, and I might use them as Christmas tree decorations sometime in the future. Could be interesting. Some obstacles in here, and my shoes are whatever, but her shoes gonna get wet, so no other choice. I successfully got my boats wet, and good thing we didn't fall while crossing the artificial river, but on the bright side, on the other side, right away we started finding more fossils. Oh, 
<laughs> Chain coral. It's again. Wow, it's fine. Jolly. And this is second Diplotripa. Yesterday I had zero Diplotripas in my collection and today I have two of them. This one is bigger and different color. Some varieties is always awesome. Here is gastropod, ladies and gentlemen. This is neat. <laughs> nice chunk of granite, egg-like. I will take it for my sister, she likes those. And besides, one more Fabacitas chunk. Cool jar fossils. Taking this one and we'll bring this one alone. No. No. Yeah, chain coral. Oh, my baby. And yep, this is it. It was quite successful hunt. Fossil corals was not that rare on this beach. We found a bunch of Favositas coral fossils over the period of, of 4 or so hours. My favorites are of course the gastropod fossil. By the way, it's perfect. I found it before it got destroyed on that beach. The two bryozoans I'm also very happy with. And the chain coral, of course, my favorite coral. Overall, all of this looks like Christmas cookies. And yeah, this is it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, thanks for watching and bye!